Jordan Henderson has made a comeback to Europe from the Saudi Pro League, and now it looks like Karim Benzema is considering a similar move. Cristiano Ronaldo, the initial supporter of the league, continues to defend it despite the emerging challenges. However, that's not the only issue. The league is still grappling with empty stadiums. Let's look at the details. Jordan Henderson recently moved from Al Etifaq to Ajax, explaining that his decision was purely based on football. Despite joining Al Etifaq in July, he had his contract cancelled to join the Dutch team. Henderson addressed concerns from the LGBTQ community about his move to Saudi Arabia, where same-sex activity is illegal, apologizing if he had offended anyone. He emphasized that his personal beliefs haven't changed. During his time at Liverpool, Henderson was known for supporting the LGBTQ community, so his move to Saudi Arabia sparked criticism. Despite a short stint and only 17 league appearances, he refrained from criticizing the Saudi league and expressed respect for Al Atifaq. Henderson acknowledged that sometimes things in life and football don't work out, but he wouldn't speak negatively about the league or clubs. Addressing rumors about rejecting a Premier League return due to tax issues, Henderson clarified that it had nothing to do with anything other than football. He's eager to make his Ajax debut, but is awaiting his work permit. Henderson mentioned that he kept in touch with England manager Gareth Southgate when deciding to move to Ajax, considering the upcoming European Championship in Germany. Despite joining Al Etifaq, Southgate continued to include him in the Three Lions squads. However, Henderson faced booing from some England fans during his return to Wembley in October, which he admitted was hurtful. While acknowledging the hurt, Henderson emphasized that he cares about people's opinions and thinks a lot about football and how he treats others. He respects the fans' views and takes it on the chin. Henderson maintains regular contact with Southgate, as they have for many years. He highlighted the coach's closeness to the players and stressed that playing for England and the Euros is significant to him. Henderson expressed his commitment to doing well for Ajax on the pitch and hopes to be called up for the England national team. But his job won't be easy at Ajax. Henderson faces a challenging task there. As the England midfielder and former Liverpool captain, he's expected to step into a leadership role for a team that is mostly young, unbalanced and heavily criticised. Recently, Ajax suffered a surprising defeat in the Dutch Cup against USV Hercules, a team not even playing at the highest amateur level. Despite being the wealthiest club in the Netherlands and winning the Champions League between 2018 and 2022, Ajax currently sits fifth in the league, nine points away from the top three positions that would secure elite European football next season. Criticism from fans, press and former players like Raphael van der Vaart, Wesley Snyder and Marco van Basten has been harsh. The team's playing style, especially in the midfield and defence, has been labelled as miserable. Additionally, Ajax has to face a playoff against Norway's Boda Glimt to continue in the Europa Conference League. Out of the 10 relatively unknown players who joined last summer, only the goalkeeper Diant Ramage is considered suitable. Internal criticism has also surfaced. Ajax's reserve goalkeeper, Remco Pasvier, pointed out a lack of vision and leadership as key reasons for the team's decline in an interview with the Amsterdam newspaper Het Parole. Many new players, according to Pasvier, don't meet the Champions League level Ajax aims for and lack an understanding of the club. In this challenging context, Henderson's understanding of the complex club is crucial. Ajax has experienced figures like Louis van Gaal, Danny Blind, and John van Schip in various roles, but there's a yearning for a fully-fledged executive board. At 33, Henderson brings valuable experience, work ethic, and leadership, qualities Ajax desperately needs after parting ways with talismans Daily Blind and Dujan Tadic. The question is not just about Henderson's Champions League quality, but whether he can provide the leadership and experience Ajax requires at this critical juncture. Two years ago, the gym was always buzzing, even after practice, according to Pasvia. Players like Tadic, Klaassen, Martinez, Blind, Anthony, and Holler were committed to improving and getting stronger, even in their free time. Pasvir expressed concern about the current generation of players showing less dedication. With Henderson's arrival, fans are hopeful. Encouraged by Liverpool assistant coach Pepine Linder's positive words, Linders described Henderson as a complete midfielder with strong character, emphasizing his role as a leader and potential right-hand man for the coach. The deal has sparked enthusiasm, as Dutch clubs rarely attract well-paid foreign players with a proven track record. Henderson's shirts are selling well at the Johan Cruyff Arena store, and Ajax fans have already given him the nickname Henny. But Henderson wasn't the only one who had issues with his move to Saudi Arabia and had a change of heart. Recently, Karim Benzema made the news as well. Karim Benzema, the former French international, joined the Middle East in 2023, following his former Real Madrid teammate Cristiano Ronaldo. This move came just a few months after he received the prestigious Golden Ball Award, recognizing him as the best player globally. In his upcoming matches, Benzema is set to play for Al-Etihad in Ligue 1 against Lyon on January 26, 2024. 
and in the King Cup against Al Faisali on February 4th, 2024. However, despite scoring 15 goals for Al Etihad, Benzema faced challenges after the mid-season break. Reports suggest that he missed training and has been excluded by head coach Marcelo Gallardo. Benzema's lawyer, Hugh Vigier, explained the situation on BFM TV, mentioning that Benzema had faced both ups and downs in his sporting career, including recent injuries. Vigier stated that Benzema left for a few days and was kept away from the team in Saudi Arabia due to a cyclone in Mauritius. Despite the challenges, Vigier expressed confidence in Benzema's ability to overcome tough times, citing his previous comeback at Real Madrid when he initially played less but later became an essential player. According to Vigier, ups and downs are a common experience for all athletes. Benzema has attracted interest from English teams like Chelsea, Arsenal and Manchester United during the January transfer window. There's also ongoing speculation about a possible return to Lyon. Benzema's lawyer, Vigier, addressed the Ligue 1 rumours, stating that when a player of Benzema's calibre faces a temporary dip in performance, there's often talk about the end of their career. Vigier expressed personal interest in seeing Benzema return to play in Lyon, but as of now, there's no official announcement from Benzema. Benzema initially signed a two-year contract with Al Ittihad in Saudi Arabia with the option for a further 12-month extension. However, despite this commitment, recent reports heavily link him with a potential return to Europe, just a few months after embarking on this new challenge. Saudi Arabia is trying to make a significant push into global football, aiming to establish the Saudi Pro League as one of the world's best competitions. High-profile players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema, Neymar, Jordan Henderson and N'Golo Kante have joined, signing contracts reportedly worth over $100 million annually. Despite attracting top talent, the league faces a major challenge with low attendance, affecting the overall atmosphere and player motivation. On average, only 8,470 fans attend Saudi Pro League matches this season, with some games drawing less than 1,000 spectators. Notably, Jordan Henderson's Al Etifak had only 696 supporters during a match in October. Although Karim Benzema's Al Ittihad boasts the highest average attendance at 29,044, the numbers are generally struggling. Even Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser averages 20,615, lower than English League One clubs Derby County and Bolton Wanderers. The attendance gap highlights the strong connection English clubs have with fans, creating loyalty despite a significant pay gap compared to the Saudi Pro League. Steven Gerrard's Al Ittihad plays at a stadium that can hold 35,000 fans, but averages only 7,021 attendees this season, much less than lower tier English clubs. Now that Henderson has left and even Benzema is considering a move, it appears that the Saudi Pro League is starting to encounter its first challenges. But there are some who stepped up to defend the league. Sadio Mane and Cristiano Ronaldo have spoken up in defense of the Saudi Pro League, emphasizing its quality and global viewership. Mane, who moved to Al Nasser from Bayern Munich, dismissed the notion that playing in Saudi Arabia diminishes attention, asserting that the league is watched worldwide. Ronaldo echoed similar sentiments at the Globe Soccer Awards, expressing belief in the league's potential to become one of the world's top three or four. Manet's teammate, Emeric Laporte, had previously raised concerns about player dissatisfaction with conditions in Saudi Arabia. However, Manet and Ronaldo defended their positive experiences, with Ronaldo stating that his move was a chance to contribute to changing mentalities in another country. Ronaldo also compared the Saudi Pro League favorably to France's Ligue 1, claiming it is more competitive. He emphasized that having played in Saudi Arabia for a year, he believes the league is currently better than the French counterpart and continues to improve. Both players highlighted the global appeal and competitiveness of the Saudi Pro League.